Hey guys, I'm trying this new camera here. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so top of the head. Okay, so you get all down. Top of the head, bring it all down. Sides. Alright, so we got the back part done. I'm using the 7F. Okay, I'll do the sides here. I always do, in general, I always try to do the same thing from one dog to the next, in the sense of, in the same um, sequence. So then I'll tie them up. So here. Oops. Show me your bum. Alright. I bring it down to here. Right down there. Right here. Here where the tail starts. And then I'll bring it all down. All down the leg. Once I get here, half of the leg, I'll come in. Reverse. Lock the leg. Reverse. You see, if I come in and do it this way, I'm not getting this here. Coming in this way, I'm pulling her out. It might be a bit shorter than the rest. Well, it will be a little bit shorter than the rest, but there's no problem with that. This is a shade down. Goes back to the side. And I'll usually do the inside too, up to here. Not where the flap is, but. Alright, so then I go back to the bum, the whole bum area. Not over the anus, just around the bum. I'm trying to get used to the camera. I set up another camera right here. But my camera is set up, I mean, on the, my other phone there so that I can see if I'm doing, if I'm doing this right. Yeah. Maybe i got to bring the camera up a bit. Alright. So. Up. 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 Inside. Right here. Side. Down. Up. Get it inside a bit. Typical pose, I'll use this all the same direction of the pose. All right, down here. Holding the flap. Skin. Just bear with me. This is my first time recording at this camera. I don't know if there are angles that are wrong, like I'm angling my head. Does that make anyone dizzy? I only know <laughs> when I edit this video, right? Down it's flat. I turn my head to the side often, so I don't know if that affects you or you. I hear. I was hoping to, you know, be able to do some zoom in, but not zoom in. Okay, and that. Okay, and then like someone who's right at the throat here, slowly. Okay, behind your ears, right here. This is Jack, by the way. Helping me demo this. <laughs> yeah, Jack. Jack's been coming in for many years now. Such a good boy. My Jack is a good boy, so he's dirty, right? I'm just shaving him down, so I'm getting him ready to go to the bath. There's no reason I should keep all that hair on him and then have him to dry all that fur. All oh, that hair. <laughs> so, 
the front off here. You know, side and the back. I always go in the opposite direction on the sides and the back, and then I'll bring this in the same direction as the coach. That's just how I do it. I guess there's no right or wrong way. It's going to look good. Sides here. Uh -huh. okay, and on the back. I really like to get mm. Hang on. Wow, you smell like fish this morning. Is that because it's raining outside? Huh? Smell like fish. All right, so now we're going to go straight to the back. Bear with me. I'm moving around. Hang on, honey. I'm going to bring him. Set this up. Set the camera here. Another I need now. Camera. This one. I don't want to get all wet. Okay. Wait a second, and I'm gonna put my gloves on also. Take my mask off. Let me go get another camera, which is right here. I'm trying to do one full take here. This is how I usually set up with this camera. But now. So am I seeing him? Hang on. Like this. So here there's a lag in time, so I'm not seeing a puppy this way. How come? Okay. I'm gonna bring this down lower. He said, there you are. There you are. So weird how much how there's a lag. I'll move my camera on my head and it only moves after. Ow. Oh, I hit my elbow. I'm wondering if the audio is match. Jack doesn't want to get wet this morning. Huh? Is it too wet outside? Hang on, Jack. Scrub a dub dog. Scrub his back. Yeah, we are gonna scrub your back. And then we scrub your tail. So I always do the same sequence, right? I, I, I take his back, then I'll do the tail, then I'll do the leg. In general, I'm not saying that I don't mix it up sometimes, but in general, I try to keep things orderly. The more you have order in what you're doing, the quicker you'll get at this. And I'm not saying that it's a, I'm not saying that it's got to be done fast. I'm just, just saying that it gets done fast. I'm not saying it'll work fast. It gets done faster. Faster. Because the less long the pup has in the tub, the less anxious the pup will be. In general, dogs are pretty anxious when they come. When they're doing, they know what's going to happen. They know they're going to have water poured all over their body, little bodies. They know they're gonna have that big bad dryer attacking them. I'll hold that hold up bad dryer. That big monster, monster of a dryer. So this blue shampoo is a facial. It's blueberry facial. Make sure it doesn't get any in the smell. I still got a blueberry facial. I ran out the last time, huh? Last time you came here? Whoa. Whoa, don't get that in my mouth. Let's move it up here. 
who does such a good job. Yes, you do. Hang on. Oop, oop. I don't want that in your nose. Hang on, I gotta hold your face. I gotta hold your face. I have no choice but to. You know, you're coming in a second time, so. Okay, so let's raise it up. Water, you rinse up. Go back, all around. If you want to stand, just let them stand. If God wants to stand, just let them stand. The least fighting possible. <laughs> the least struggle possible. All right, so you got that done? I'm going to do his face. I'm just going to cover his nose here so he has, he's breathing underneath here, see? I'm just covering his nose and getting that water on top. So she does not like that. Put some water on the top of his head to rinse it out. There you go, we're done. Then I'll go in. Put the back of his head. Put the tip of the ears. Around his head. And then I'm going to use the wash. Yes. And I'm going to wipe all of that excess water off. So that I can come close his ear. And rinse all that out. And do the same thing on that side. I'll show you guys another way that I do this. The reason why I do this is because, first of all, I don't want to come in and just hang on to me. I don't want to come in and just throw the water straight at his eyes like this because I don't want to hurt his retina or, you know, the screen can be a little strong, so I don't want to do that. So I rinse the top of his head and his nose, head down, hiding his nose. Then I'll do a little on the back, and then I'll wipe it up. Wipe up his ears. Once they're all wiped up, there's no more water to go into his ears. If I press down, there won't be any water going in his ears, right? Because if you press and you have a whole bunch of water here, and you're pressing down on his ear, then it's going to pour right down into his ear just by pressing, right? Like a sponge. So he's going to have a second shampoo. So I'm not too worried about the rinse. It's in the second rinse, we'll rinse a little more. So he gets another facial, the second blueberry shampoo in his face. With little circles around and round. Okay. Under the ear here, here too. That gets greasy, and dirty, smelly. And then right on the top here, careful. You don't want to have any water going into his mouth. To the eyes, sides. That's good enough. Boop, boop. Let's get your ears on the inside also, right? What I do here and on the inside. All right, so back to the hydrating to one shampoo. <laughs> he wants to stand, so I'm just gonna throw this shampoo over. I'm gonna take this hair out. Just plug it on my right So let's walk back. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. You get a good rub, rub, scrub, scrub. And now the soap is all slippery and it was all clean in there. Put him on his tail. Boom. Side leg here. We're almost done, honey. So it's two shampoos. With this facial. Really well rinsed. Side belly's here. Side belly. This one go underneath too. Side of the belly. Jack doesn't want a, sh a shower this morning. Don't want a shower this morning. So now we're gonna do both legs here. So you want to be standing there. You go. It's really odd having this camera right by my head, right by my eye. 
Okay, sometimes I'll come in with this here and see how the little, little pins there are, the soft, by the way, rubbery soft. And that just gets right down to the skin. Because we're not just cleaning the coat, guys, right? so we're cleaning the skin. Okay? So I don't do it on the face. I'll do it on the sides here. I don't do the legs either. I could do the sides of the legs, but I don't get into the feet. There. Look at your belly. Watch for his little penis down there. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Don't hurt you. Put your neck. There you go. All good. Sometimes I'll use this soap here for their feet. It's got, what is it, lavender? Another good stuff that helps with stinkiness. So if they have stinky feet, really bad stinky feet, I'll use that. On their feet. I'm going to take a nice rinse here. He likes to stand. If you want to stand, I'm not going to fight you. You stand. And go all around. He's back. Stay down. Okay, Jack, you got to rinse your face. I know you don't like this. I'm going to prepare this first. He doesn't like the water in his face, so we're gonna really let him out. Right here. We're gonna do the front, like I showed you. Hide his little nose. Keep the head down, honey. There you go. If you want me to do that, you have to. Go under your chin. Hang on. What we're gonna do? We're gonna wipe this up. Wipe it all up. I don't want to squish any water in there with my fingers. And this is another way I do it. I just hold their ears from underneath, hold their head back. Holding their ears like that. But before holding the ear, I'm always sure to make sure that there's no excess water first. So take the excess water out. Because if I go and I squish this, hang on. You end, up, you end up getting a. Uh, hang on, honey. Wait a minute. I gotta empty this one. If I end up squishing your ear, you end up getting a whole bunch of water coming down the ear canal. Um, after this, after his room, I'll be spraying this with a uh, disinfectant. I always disinfect these bathing things here. You like to taste the water? Yeah, hope I drink it. Okay, so these are really well rinsed out. It's important to rinse out really well because they're not really home itchy. I'm looking at the hole here. There's still soap running down there. That means my job is not done. See that soap? Rinse everything out here. Where are you going, honey? I know you want to stand, but we're done. We're done. We're done. See, the water's clear now. We're done. I wear gloves, by the way, because my hands get really dry. I don't have the water all the time. They're dry, in fact. I started using gloves a few years back. So I love these. Love, 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 love these washcloths. I got them on Amazon. They are just amazing. They, <laughs> poor little one, I left this on his head. They absorb all of the water. Yes, they're so absorbent. They're actually, uh, yeah, they wash with washcloths, facial cloths, makeup remover cloths or something like that. They're just really, really soft. Because I'm not saying that up there. Okay, 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 we're done. Okay, yeah, we're done. Okay. See how that water come out? Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's go. 
Let's do this. My silver put it in. Yes, I am. <sighs> All right, then. Uh, uh, so, there you go. You want to look at the camera? <laughs> you got to look at the camera. All right. So let's dry this little one. See, I left it a mess here. Hang on. Take this mess out. Put my mask back on. Take the mess out. My little brush here. Put in there. In the garbage. It goes in the garbage. Yes, it goes in the garbage. Puppies have a hard time with the letter G. So they say garbage instead of garbage. Yes, they do. So I'm going to close the garbage because I'm going to dry this little one and I don't want to have hair flying out everywhere. So this is how I do this. All right, give me a second. I'm going to look at all this mess here. Hang on. Follow me. Follow me. I'm going to take this out also. Whoops, my glasses off. So that I don't have to sit with it. Put my back on. It's not easy having this camera. Please, please, please bear with me, guys. It's not easy having the camera on here. I probably would not always have that there. The other camera. Keeping it there because I need to, I need to see myself in there to see if I'm, if you're seeing what you're supposed to be seeing. Right. Now I need to set this one up. Big shake. Oh yeah. That's a kitty cat. There's my cat. Hi Orby. <laughs> Orby Gray, hi. Oh, now he wants to see kitty cat. Not a good idea. I'm going to have to go bring the kitty cat in the other room. Yeah, usually the cat doesn't come in here. Okay, this is going to be a tough one here. No, we don't want the kitty cat in here. Orby, give me a second. Here, come with me. How am I going to do this? Guys. I'm gonna go. Give me a second. I'm gonna go bring the cat. Mm. Alright, so sorry about that. But the kitten does not need to be with us, right? Right. So, because the kitten is getting jacked way too excited. You're way too excited. Yes. Hang on, let me see your face. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Hang on, let me see your face. See your face, see? Camera's too high. Hang on. Jack is very sensitive. His neck, his, his trachea is very sensitive. Apparently something happened when he was younger. I don't know. But uh, when he first came to me, she says, you got to be careful for his trachea. Because he, he, he'll cough it. Just touch him, right? So... I do keep this lead on him, but I'm, I'm careful for him not to pull. I think I'd like to put this camera tighter. You coming here? Hang on. Okay, so we're gonna do his eyes. First off, I like to use my product here. I should write all the products, right, that I'm using. And uh, yeah, what are we looking for? Looking for this. We're looking for that. Three. Try to turn slower because that must be dizzying. Like falling. Falling my head must be dizzying. Wow. Okay, and then I'm gonna need this. Whoops. And I'm gonna check to see if he has any. 
poopies in his eyes. Have any poopies in your eyes? Just a little bit of poopies. And I'm going to use my comb, bring this all back. I'm going to take a little bit of that out for now. Just going in a little angle like that. Hmm, the camera really needs to be... It's funny. Anyhow. Um, so this blue stuff is for the ears, and this clear stuff for the eyes. This clear stuff, we're going to clean the eyes here. See, I didn't want to get any soap right into those corners, right? So, just clean that out with that. There you go. Now let's do your ear. What's going on inside here? Any hairs? I'm not plucking, I'm not pulling, I'm just lightly taking the hairs out because I'm going to snip a little off and then I'm going to wash the inside of this little one's ear and we use, we wash the flap we wash everything oh now we drop it anyway, it's all good so I'm not picking that up now oh that's one greasy ear huh I like to use this stuff I know there's all kinds of different um, Different cleaners out there. I like this one. I like the smell of it. I know there are cleaners you can pour down the ear. and I don't know. I've been doing this for 13 years now. 14 come this fall. Okay. Now that's all done. I'm not going to throw these out right now because I want to check out to see what's going on with this bone. So I'm going to clean that out. I go in with my scissors and I toss all of that over slowly and then snip, toss that over and then snip. I'll be really, really careful around this area. Okay. And yeah, I just kept a stick and wipe this off. If his bum, like I think his bum is a little, hang on, I'm gonna get this. Oh. I'll go in with baby wipes. And we're going to wipe his bum with a baby wipe because he's still a little dirty down there. Clean. Now that's clean. Put this all out and I'll come in and use a little bit of alcohol because we touched his bone and touched some weird crusties and stuff. Weird crusties. All right, next, drying. So, I'm pull this out. This used to have a hard plastic here. It's a belly band for them not to sit when you're working. And I took it off because the belly band was hard, horrible. So instead, I like to put a little towel. I'm thinking of getting all those noodles, you know, the pool noodles, and maybe put that there. Because that, oh, that was so hard. Put his feet in there. Hang on, you probably can see well. Bring it up. Oh, I'm just tightening the belt up here. What's going on here? Tighten like that. Okay, and I don't want to tighten too much here because you know, he's not good with the uh, with this here. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. So I use my earplugs for my ears. So my earplugs for my ears. And then, oh, is this gonna work? I usually put these on top, but I don't know if it's gonna work with the camera. It's not going to work with the camera. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm just going to use these earplugs for now. And we're going to dry the puppy. You know, I know that the better your drying work is, the better your cut will be. But I'm a pet groomer not, you know, not a um, professional um, uh, 
competitive groomer. I'm a pet groomer. And I'm here for the pet's well-being and health. So that's what it's about for me. That's my job. Everyone's job is different. This one's mine. So I prefer finishing drying him, a little with the cloth, a little air dry. His mom knows that he might have a little humidity on his head, but seriously, it's, it's all good. His hair's not that thick anyway, so it dries off pretty good. Okay, honey, I just don't want his little heart to be racing. You know, the whole thing. The whole charade. So, that's how I do it for him. Yes, hon. Now that we're all dry, we're going to switch the camera to the other side. This one here. This is going to be really cool to edit. Try to get these camera angles in. <laughs> I am going to shave when I'm so anxious because I'm getting myself a, finally getting myself a um, uh, cordless, uh, I'm going to shave. cordless shaver clipper. Okay, so I'm going to use a 30 blade. Shave that paw, put that paw, just lightly. This is a 30 blade, right? So I, I don't dig in with a 30 blade. It's a 10 blade, maybe. I just kind of clean it up as good as I can. Come to the sides here. Throw the toes underneath the toes here. Best I can. Right? Come this way. Sideways. So I kind of get all around. What we want is to show off all of these digits, right? Show off the toes. There we go. If this dog was kicking and screaming, I wouldn't be using this blade. I'd be using a tiny blade for sure. I don't want any accidents. But I'm confident enough to use this on a calm dog. So Jack doesn't like the drying, but he really likes the task getting done. Oh, that's not bothering you. Huh? Not too much? It's taking a little? Get all off. Sides. Bottom here, not digging in. Yeah, I'm sorry for the loud sound of the clipper. Not loud on me. But the other clipper apparently is really, uh, the one I'm going to get is really, really uh, quiet. Oh, okay, so 10 blade here. Can you see that right here? Get all of that out. This time I'm going to have to go downward. Give it a side too. Get over there. Okay. Keep in the belly. Right. Yeah. Uh, Alright, next, we're going to do the 7F, we're going to finish, do the finishing. Put these back away, so always good to keep your things set. Back in your place. So let's get back to
Now it's going to be lower. Anyhow, whatever. Sit your bum. Thank you. Start at the occiput here, right behind. So my thumb there. I'm going to go behind the thumb. And it's all the way down. All the way down. Right behind the ear. Right behind the ear. And all the way down. Come back up. Okay. Remember, tail will stick here. I'm going to bring it right about there. Side. Side here. Bring it down. Flap. Hand behind the flap. Never this way. Skin can enter that. And it'll cut your dog. Alright, back to this upwards. Try to get as much as possible. The inside's done. Tip of the toes. Behind here. Side. See, I'm locking his leg. So he has got a pin bone here. He has his knee here. So his knee bends, right? So if I put my finger, the bone back here, and I hold his knee, I'm locking that leg. But he can't pull. He can do all the pulling he wants. He's locked, and I can just do my work. Okay. Bum. Not around the anus. If it was a 10 blade, maybe, but this is a 7 blade, and I'm not going to do that. No accidents here. Not today. Not today, buddy. Alright. Mm. Let's try let's get down. Careful. Flap is here. Go downwards. If you go in this way, this skin would puncture the blade. You don't want that. You gotta go down this way. Holding the skin. Here, up, up, lock leg, upwards, upwards, down the toes. There we go. Pretty good. All right. I'm going to switch the blade because it gets warm, right? I'm going to have to put some more oil on that. We have another, another 7F. Nice and cool one. There's some spray too that you can use, coolant, disinfectant. I'm just out right now. Clean my way back in. Again, give it your neck. Scoop it out. And you just side your head. Again. Feel all that. Bring that down. Here, I'm going to go in there with scissors anyway. Sides are done. Here. And just here. That's got to go. All right. All right. Show me your belly. So, see, I'll bring this down like that. And we're down. And I'm not going to come in this way. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to come in this way. Things sideways, but here I don't like that. You know, I use my ten blade here. Sorry, use my ten blade. So I want to use this one in reverse to make it look more equal. Okay, it's back on. You're not going anywhere, honey. You're not. You're staying right here. We're doing front of the leg. This is just how I do it, right? This is how I work. Just showing you how I do it. Going to the sides. Side again. No. I have to come in two directions because this is flat here. 
Okay, so he's pulling. Gotta be careful here because right here there's an extra little cushion there. You want to catch that. You don't want to catch that. Okay? And out. Let me get this here. Oh, I'm so anxious to see the result of the recording of this. To see how how I'm doing. Yes, oh, I'm gonna do his. I'm gonna take a third blade here. Put this back away. Longs. And I dropped my card, which I am going to read here because that is private. Private information. I'm just reading the card here. I need a 13 millimeter. Really? Hmm. So my battery life is going. I've been working for 45 minutes and the battery's already low. Wow. That's not interesting. Not at all. That does not impress me at all, at all, at all. Because 13 millimeters. Tinker's head. That doesn't. That does not impress me. It apparently takes about. Oh, apparently I plugged it in yesterday. It takes six to seven hours for it to for it to charge. So this means. Wow. You know, you just buy something and then you're disappointed. Well, that's what I am right now. Disappointed. I can't even get through my whole room with this. Okay. All right. So, take this off. Take this away. And we're going to use this. I have that already. I'm just going to grab my scissors here. Let's see. Battery says here. It's red. It's in the red. Wow. So disappointed right now. <laughs> Man, I just got this camera. I mean, if there was a way to change the battery, but it's, it's a charging battery. And I think while it's charging, I'm not supposed to have this on my head. So I guess I'm going to have to use these not for full rooms. It'll have to be for quick tutorials, unless I use two different cameras and I keep turning it on and off for only specific parts. Bear with me, guys. I'm learning. I am learning about this whole YouTube thing. I'm just so happy to be here, finally. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Finally got up the nerve to do it. All right, so we did all around his feet. Now I'm just going to fluff this up a bit. Fluff it up a bit and cut around. We're gonna cut around here. We're just cleaning up the areas. And I start from the back. I always start from the back. Pretty much anything I do. Because I come to the dog, getting used to whatever I'm doing. We're going to have to do his nails too. So yeah, the dog gets used to what you're doing, right? So you start in the back. Any new thing I start. In general, always exceptions. I'm going to stop this camera, this one here, as soon as I'm done this here. Because I don't know, once it stops, I guess it will just automatically save. I hope so. Just get 
all of this done all around, just all around. It's always under the arms, over here. but they'll be shorter you know I won't be doing long versions with this it's all good it's all good I like to make a little flag here and she likes it nice and short so we call it a Swiffer <laughs> Swiffer style. Calm it down and I'm going to get this out of here out of the way. And I like to re-fluff it, shake it up again to see if there's any sticky addies like there. Like that. On this side. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Each side here. Make it out. Looking slick. All right, so I'm gonna do a space. Oh, I don't know if I can. If the battery's gonna last. So, yeah. So I'm gonna quit the camera. I'm just afraid that. Well, I'm guessing that if it stops, it'll save what was recorded. But I'll stop it just the same. So. We're switching to the other camera. Hang on, we'll stop this. Can I do it? Turn off Wi-Fi. Turn off Wi-Fi. When do you start recording? If I start recording, am I going to be on Wi-Fi? Camera disconnected. Okay. I'm going to have to go. No, turn off. No, turn off camera. Power off. All right, so, yeah. I guess I'll see. Trial and error, I guess, right? So I'm still here. I'm right here. I turned it off. We shall see. We shall see. All that one. Okay, we were too excited. Let's do space. I'm gonna do space from here, like I usually do. Can I see you a minute? We're gonna call your mom. It won't be long. Ouch, I keep hitting my arm there. That's another thing. This has gotta go. I'm gonna set up one of those in the center. Lately, I keep hitting my arm. I don't know if it's because when I'm filming, I'm tossed over a little. I keep hitting my arm. Okay, honey, I need you to sit here like this, okay? And I need you to cooperate. Spinning will not do you any good or do me any good. Take all of that off of this front. See, I see him also between grooms. His mom comes in for, she comes every, hang on, she comes every eight weeks. So every four weeks, he comes in between grooms, like four weeks after his groom, he'll come in for his nails. And when I do their nails, when I do their nails, when they come in for their nails, I also check the visor, their visor clean up if they have poo poos in their, you know, crusties in their eyes, clean up their visor, the pads, check out their bum to see there's nothing hanging in there, <laughs> hanging on to that bum. 
And uh, yeah, the nails, of course the nails. I do a little extra for my client. My, client is, my clients are sweet enough to stay with me. I have so many clients that have been with me for so many years. Most of my clients. Okay, we'll do the sides here. I'm gonna pull this in front. Yeah, so that's what I'll do with the camera. I can't do long, long, long videos with the camera. I think it lasted about 45 minutes. Pull all this back. I'm gonna cut this out here. Everything that's in front of his ear is gone. And then I'll come in with the these here. Wanna go behind? There's you back there. All right, we're not done, hon. We are not done. I'm gonna pull all of this up, yep, like that. I'm gonna hide his eye. I'm gonna take all of this extra off. Make a nice, nice sunshine. I learned this from uh, another groomer here online. Her name is Nathalie. Oh my God, what's her name? She's French. French. I speak French too. I'm French also. So, whoops, hang on. I should have just clipped first, right? So that everyone can see this. We'll do the two tips of the ears here. Let's do your tips. We'll do the tips of the ears. I'm going to toss all of this over from one side to the side. Too. I'm still trying to remember her name. You know, I think it's Nathalie D. D. something. Oh my god. I have menopausal brain. <laughs> I'm going to tip the ears back. I love her techniques. I learned the scissor over comb from her. I mean, I watch her videos and she's just awesome. I just love that girl. Sits it, sits it, sits it. If I remember, when I remember later on, I, I'll try to think of putting it in the um, description box. If I didn't, you can just leave me a comment. Let me know I didn't leave it in the descri description box and I'll get the name. Okay, we're going to do the other side too. I know we did one side of your face, we do the other side. Mom likes really short, 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 short face, short head, short ears. So let's continue your side of your face. And we'll finish the ears after, okay. So we're gonna finish this here. So I go in here to the eye, to the corner of the eye like that. And then all of this here meets with this. Like that. And this sticky eyes here. Well, these ducks, they have curls waves and areas where they're not supposed to be. <laughs> Maybe they are supposed to be. Who am I to judge that? Okay, little boy. Coming in an angle. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoy these long form videos. If I'm doing this for nothing, or if you guys enjoy this, and I'm gonna try to adjust to what you to your needs, right? I'm here to show you how I do what I do. 
And if you're a new groomer, you need any, you have any questions, just ask. Leave a comment. All right, so <clears throat> sunshine, sunshine. Sunshine. Ah, Natalie DiBella. Natalie, Natalie DiBella. Pretty sure that's what it is. Let me know in the comments if that's what it is. Natalie Dibella. Look at all of that. These are curls here. Look at that. That's a curl. That out of there. I don't want that curl there. Put it down. Get rid of that. Ooh, more curls here. Hang on. Bring this down. No. Nothing's ever perfect. Perfect. But we do the best we can, right? Right, Jack? Okay, sorry. <laughs> No, no, I'm not done. I am not done. Your mom wants that a little shorter. I'm seeing it here. Shorter. Tighter. Let's get in there. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Sit, sit. Quiet is it? Nice and quiet. So we're gonna do around. Give me a second. Bring this up. No. We heard a crinkle. Nervous puppy. You're a nervous puppy. Just take all of that out. Huh? Take all of that out. This side too. Hang on, I'm not done. We're almost done. We had like less than a less than a minute ago. Okay. Just take all of this off here. Mama likes all of this off. Nice and clean. Alright. Is that good enough? You seem to have hair here. You know, they have divots. <laughs> so you kind of got to come back in with your scissors sometimes because the clipper just won't get in there. All right. Well, I'm pretty happy that I started, that I tried the camera, the new camera. Um, you know, I got to see how long the battery lasts. <laughs> And uh, I guess I got some decisions to make on how I'm going to be presenting my videos to you guys. Whoops, sorry. Sorry, little one. Saying sorry and thank you to puppies. For me, it's a sign of respect. I always say thank you. Pretty much. Say, can you give me your paw? Thank you. Or you knock them sometimes, you go to take your comb or brush and then, whoops, you tip the nip of their nose like, 
if I move it around, <laughs> it's like, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Gotta be careful. Huh? So we're done. I'm just nitpicking here. All right. Is that good enough for mom? I still see curls. You know, I could seriously keep doing this for the next uh, 15 minutes. You gotta learn when to stop. Sure do. And this is where I'm stopping, I guess. Is that good enough? Is that good enough for your mama? Look at me. Good boy. Is that good enough for your mama? You look in the camera. Is it sit? Is that good enough? Hey guys, let me know what you think. Is this good enough? <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>